An out of town family believes they were attacked here in Dallas because of their faith. A Muslim family now saying they were targeted for wearing hijabs at one of Dallas's most prominent landmarks. New at 10 o'clock, Marianne Martinez joining us live now from Reunion Tower with their story. Marianne? Ken, the Muslim American family says a trip to Reunion Tower ended in a vicious attack where they were told to go back to their country. When it was all said and done, one of the family members ended up in the hospital. She's telling me to go back to my country. Lady, I was born here in the USA, Detroit, Michigan. It was an ugly end to a trip to Reunion Tower. The Aish family visiting from Oklahoma says they had a great time at the observation tower Saturday. As they were leaving, they say a woman became very upset with them as mom Renee was standing at the exit of the ground floor. So I stepped in and I told her that there was no reason for her to be so rude and not to speak to my mom in that tone of voice. And she, she said, I'll speak in the, matter, the way I want to. You don't tell me how to speak. And she then told me to go back to my country. They say the woman went on to curse at them, using a slur for the hijab. I'm like, this is my country. I am an American. She's like, that's why you wear this scarf on your head, because you're an American? I'm like, yes, I'm an American Muslim. She's like, go back to India. Eventually, the name calling turned physical. Janan says the woman slapped her outside Reunion Tower. She hit me in the middle of the head. Uh, at this point, my eyes were like, I couldn't see anything. Everything was still blurry. By this time, she had me by my scarf. She took it off. She started pulling my hair. Janan ended up going to the hospital where she was told she had a concussion. She also reported the woman to Dallas police. Okay, I'm Muslim, but I'm still American. And I have just as much right as anybody to be here. Although a police report was filed, the family says they are not out for vengeance. They say they are speaking out because they believe this is an opportunity to educate not only the attacker, but others about their faith. Reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.